Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode, powered by Hayabusa, is all about unusual training methods to help you prepare for the unpredictable fight day. All right, in today's episode, I have a few minutes before some of my fighters come in for training, so I wanted to talk about some of the unusual training methods that I will use to help my fighters prepare for that unpredictableness of fight day, okay? So let's talk about what is unpredictable. So a lot of times you go into your fight, whether it's your first or whether you're a professional fighter, there's so many things that can happen. Fight card changes, opponent swaps out, you might have the longest warm up. sometimes you have no warm up and just the stress of fighting there's ways to help you prepare as fighters who train every day our entire lives what happens is you start to learn to get comfortable you learn to pace yourselves in a fight you don't have that nice luxury of staying relaxed the fight day stress the nerves the anxiety someone trying to knock your head off the crowd the audience who's watching so we got to be able to work on some of these types of things so let's talk about some of the unusual things that i will do with my team now these are unusual training methods okay yes you can kind of do simulations preparing for fight days sometimes you know you can have sparring have the team watching so that will help some of the fan anxiety and stuff that happens but these training methods i find are unique and maybe Maybe not used all the time so this is why I want to share them so the first one I call pre-exhaustion training so what happens is a lot of times before you're sparring you'll do your warm-up or you do a light warm-up then you get your hard sparring rounds but in pre-exhaustion what I like to do is to do pads first I'll do the fight rounds hard as you can and make my fighter think you know we're probably not sparring later or this is going to be the hardest part of training so the pre-exhaustion hard rounds on the pad after those hard rounds that is when we'll start doing our sparring okay the pre-exhaustion get them tired first and then get them to their sparring now a lot of times like well the injury the defense yes this is just more of a mental task for them a lot of times it's three rounds three minutes you know or an mma three five minute rounds it's that last round that feels like you know what you've trained every day it's so long you're so prepared but you're still exhausted in that third round so this is going to help you mentally in those types of moments all right the second one okay this one could have a little controversy but i still think it's important it's happened many times in my career it's being called to the ring right away but you never got to warm up they may have called you on deck early the fight before there was a knockout so now you're going faster you have to be able to prepare to still go in a fight without having a full warm-up so sometimes you come in your fighter thinks they warm up right away i'll tell them get your gear on we're sparring to start so then you might have to use that first round be a little bit more intelligent just to get comfortable being able to get that body working and again martial arts it stems from self-defense right and the joke i always use when i do this type of training is there's no warm-ups on the streets right so it's just a funny way of telling your fighters that they got to be able to go mentally and physically without the perfect warm-up right we all plan this is what we're going to do this time fighting isn't perfect and a lot of times things change last moment and the last thing you want you or your fighter to do is start freaking out with those types of things okay so no warm-up sparring so the next one we're going to do is uh hard rounds with bonus okay so a lot of times as a fighter especially myself even if i'm doing rounds on the bag i know how to pace myself i'm efficient with martial arts i know it on the fifth round that's it i'm done i'm gonna work hard and then it's over so what i'll do with my fighters i'll tell them okay we're gonna do hard fight round training so say it's a three round fight we'll do hard three three minute rounds they they left it all out there you make sure they they fucking exhausted themselves entirely then what you do is you add the bonus round okay so when you add the bonus round now now they're all flustered they got to be able to go in there stay controlled stay relaxed and find the energy this is going to teach them that you know what you can't throw everything with power you're going to have to learn to control your emotion control your power control your output a very important skill that you learn later on in fighting i think of the example of a kickboxer versus a boxer a kickboxer is usually trained for three rounds you want to be able to sometimes train longer shorter you have to be able to change the endurance okay so the bonus round the last one since we're talking about round length and adding rounds 
No time length sparring. This is my last unusual one. Sometimes in the past, I'll just touch my training partner's hand and then boom, there's no time limit. We have no idea how long the sparring is going to go. It's either till one person gasses out, one person gives out. Sometimes they've gone 45 minutes. Earlier on in my career, I've done 45 minute sparring matches sometimes. And it's, yes, it's long, but it's just teaching you that there is no end. So mentally, it can play something. Um, and have an effect on you at fight day. Okay, so quick recap. We have pre-exhaustion, right? Get tired before you do the main stuff, right? Just prepare you to be tired and to be able to get through those types of breathing techniques while you're actually in the round. We had no warm-up sparring, going right into your sparring right away and getting your rounds in without the perfect warm-up. We had hard rounds without telling your fighter, adding the bonus round, the surprise round. Your fighter's going to hate you, but they'll appreciate it if things happen. Now, you got to think, in glory, even in karate combat, the extra round. Prepare for that. Just because your fight's three minutes, you never know what to expect. The last one, no time limit sparring. Go in, touch gloves, and see if you can control. Now, if you if you know you're sparring someone good, and you go all out in that first three, four, five minutes, then what happens? You not you don't have that ability to pace yourself later on. So you start learning strategies where learning to fight in moments, learning to relax defensively while they're attacking. So a lot of important things happen when you don't have a time frame. All right, so hope you enjoyed today's episode. A little bit different. Um, like I said, I'm just hearing my fighters come in right now, so hopefully they didn't hear what I said because I'll probably be adding some of these unusual training methods today. All right, so make sure you like and subscribe, share Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA with your friends, and make sure you support the channel by supporting our sponsors. We have Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight, linked below. Perfect Sports Nutrition, Bazooka 20 gets you 20% off all of your supplements. Last but not least, bazookatraining.com. Online curriculum taught by me and you get brand new videos every single week. We have home videos, sparring drills, bag work, tutorials. We have everything for everyone and different types of training equipment, right? If you don't have a bag, use the home workers. You have a training partner, you have sparring drills. If you're new, you have a tutorial section to learn and then go into the other more advanced lessons on the channel. And I forgot to mention, it's less than $10 a month. So even if you have your gym membership, I always say, learn from your coach. Maybe you're learning block counters. Come back to the channel, look at my perspective on block counters, put them together, and that's one of the best ways to learn martial arts, in my opinion. Now that we have different opinions so easy at the touch of our fingers, I recommend it. We'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more, so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.